from ancient scary sharks to the tongue-eating parasite, here are the most bizarre sea creatures. Parrotfish. Now it's understandable to think that these fish were named for the vibrant colors of the parrot, but in fact the fish have beaks that are reminiscent of parrots. They can use the beak to rasp algae from the coral environments. And did you know that some species of this fish can protect themselves with mucus? Before going to sleep, they exude mucus from the mouths that forms into a protective cocoon, and that hides the scent from predators. Clown Frogfish. Nearly six feet long and found in the Indo-Pacific region, it has a pliable globulous body with skin covered with dermal spinules or small spines, one of which can be used as a type of lure to attract prey. The coloring varies as they adapt to their environment, but it often ranges from white to black while passing through a spectrum that includes pink, yellow, red, and brown. Did you know the mouths are so large that they can consume prey their own size? Longhorn Cowfish. A lot of people think this cute critter looks a lot like a character straight out of Pokemon. It grows to around 20 inches long and is notable for its pair of horns that sprout from the top of its head. Experts say that the horns are actually hollow and likely evolved as a type of defense mechanism which makes the fish difficult for predators to swallow. Another defense mechanism is a deadly poison it can release should it become unduly stressed out. Not so cute now, is it? Sea Cucumber. Did you know these marine creatures can be collected for human consumption? It's not because they taste like cucumbers, though. That name refers to the animal's resemblance to the cucumber plant's fruit. Measuring about 12 inches long, they have a leathery skin and are normally located on the seafloor. The greatest numbers of them are found in the Asia-Pacific region. Eastern Fiddler Eye. From its shape, this critter kind of resembles a musical instrument. In fact, it is sometimes called the banjo shark due to that resemblance. The Eastern Fiddler Ray is another odd-looking creature native to Australia. It's usually found around the sandy bays of the southern coastline, where it feeds on prey like seafloor invertebrates and shellfish. They grow to around four feet long and can be identified by distinctive markings around the eyes and, of course, that banjo-like shape. Sea Butterfly. The name refers to a suborder of small swimming sea snails and comprise some of the most abundant species of gastropods. These mollusks are identified by their calcified shells, which tend to be quite fragile, and sometimes they're so fine that they can be transparent. Dumbo Octopus. While this animal does not have the ears of the Disney character for which it is named, it still manages to flap its fins in order to navigate its way across the ocean floor. Now, some of these octopuses live at depths of some 23,000 feet, which is the most extreme depth known for any octopus. They're known to eat the prey whole and are able to change the color to camouflage themselves. Flying Gunard. They live throughout the Atlantic Ocean, but they can't really fly. They do seem to have a pair of wings, though, which are really disproportionately large pectoral fins. When the fish is excited, it spreads those semi-transparent fins to display phosphorescent blue light on the tips. Pacific Torpedo Ray. Now, it kind of looks like a starship sailing through the expanse of the cosmos, but the scene actually takes place on Earth, where the torpedo ray sails through the expanse of the Pacific Ocean. These large, flattened rays are electroreceptive fish. That is, they can generate an electric charge. They can also sense the electric stimuli of prey as they hide partially buried on the seafloor. Upon making an ambush attack, the ray wraps itself around its prey, then stuns it with a charge that can measure some 50 volts. Pacific or West Coast Sea Nettle. Found in the eastern Pacific Ocean, their bells can grow to around 3 feet, with tentacles that can trail for 15 feet. They spread out the tentacles like a net in order to catch prey like crustaceans and zooplankton. The tentacles contain barb stingers that release a toxin to stun the potential meal. And these animals can actually use jet propulsion to travel against ocean currents. They manage that effect by squeezing the bell and pushing water behind them to propel themselves forward. Tongue-eating louse. 
One of the critters on our list with a weird appearance and a weirder ability is this small parasitic isopod. Their claim to fame is that they will enter a fish through its gills, then attach themselves to the fish's tongue. From there, the parasite cuts the blood vessels in the tongue, which causes the appendage to fall off. And by attaching itself to the remaining stub of the organ, the creature becomes the fish's new tongue. Now that does sound gruesome, but experts say the parasite actually causes very little damage to its host, and the fish can use it like a normal tongue. Pelican eel. Humans don't see this critter too often because it tends to dwell nearly 10,000 feet deep in the North Atlantic Ocean. Not unlike its avian namesake, this animal has a sizable pouch-like mouth, which is much larger than its body and allows it to swallow up prey bigger than itself. Using its mouth like a net, the eel can swim into groups of crustaceans like shrimp and swallow them as they go along. basket star. They appear like a mass of seaweed, and some people have even thought they were alien life forms. But they are actually marine invertebrates that create unusual abstract patterns with the tendrils. Prey is usually captured by those tendrils, then transported to the creature's mouth, which is found underneath its central disc. Did you know these creatures have the ability to regenerate themselves by splitting the bodies apart? Sea pens. These marine creatures were named after antique quill pens, but with some 450 described species of this animal, only a certain species actually has the appearance of the namesake. They're actually grouped with octocorals, or soft corals, and they can be found in waters around the world at depths exceeding 6,100 meters. glowing sucker octopus. This bioluminescent animal can light up its surroundings in the North Atlantic Ocean, and no doubt things can get a bit dark at depths exceeding 13,000 feet. That light is generated from 40 suckers located on each tentacle, which generate a flashing greenish-blue light. Experts still are not sure what the light signifies, although it might serve as a way to lure in prey or to attract a mite. Pyrosome. This creature is so rarely seen that it is often called the unicorn of the sea. But at some 98 feet long, it would be difficult to miss. That's about the size of a couple of double-decker buses placed end to end. Now, even though it appears to be a single massive beast, thousands of tiny individual creatures called zooids are connected by tissue. And then they act in unison to collect prey such as plankton. Hagfish. As you've likely noticed, a lot of undersea life forms have an alien quality to them, and this creature is a definite case in point. Having changed little over some 300 million years, hagfish have no jaws and only rudimentary vertebrae. They're known to exude a thick slime when attacked and can tie themselves into an overhand knot to avoid capture. Thanks to those defense mechanisms, the hagfish is rarely targeted by predators. sarcastic fringe head. Measuring about 12 inches long, the unusual looking fish can be highly temperamental and territorial. To defend itself, the animal will expand its huge mouth, then flex and snap its jaws. When two fringe heads have at it, the gaping mouths grapple so closely that they almost look like the kissing. Frilled shark. While this animal is fairly well distributed about the globe, they're unlikely to be seen that often because they usually live more than 4,000 feet deep in the oceans. They are often cited as living fossils because the eel-like creatures have changed so very little over the course of some 80 million years. The mouth contains 300 sharp triangular teeth and they have a snake-like motion when they strike at prey. And its name, by the way, is a reference to the six pair of gill slits that appear to be frilled. Blobfish. Its visage is often compared to that of a grumpy old bloke, and no wonder why. While it does appear a bit repulsive, the slimy gelatinous skin does serve a vital role in the animal's survival. The blobfish lives at depths of around 4,000 feet, and its unusual flesh allows the fish to expend less energy swimming by easily floating above the sea floor. American Anglerfish. With a flattened body that enables it to hide on the seafloor camouflaged in sediment until prey passes by overhead, 
the anglerfish is recognized as an expert ambush predator. The mouth is filled with strong teeth and spines and is large enough to trap prey larger than itself. Stargazer. Did you know these creatures have sometimes been referred to as the, quote, meanest things in creation? Well, it's not just due to the scary appearance, that's also due to some scary abilities as well. All species are venomous, while select species are known to administer electric shocks to ward off predators. And the scary appearance actually does serve a purpose. While it does not necessarily scare off aggressors, their top-mounted eyes allow them to stay buried in the sandy seafloor until prey passes by overhead. Hoodwinker sunfish. Now, in case you were wondering, no, the picture does not show an eccentric chef that has created a strange colored pancake on the beach. And even though it appears to have been run over by a steamroller, the flattened appearance is typical for the ocean sunfish. It is also known as the Mola Mola and is known for its massive size, on average weighing more than 2,200 pounds and measuring more than eight feet from fin to fin. But in 2014, a previously unknown species of the critter was discovered on a beach in New Zealand. Now this one is larger than other species of sunfish, weighing around 4,000 pounds and measuring some 10 feet long. Even though it's bigger, this species actually has a slimmer and sleeker build. And while it's also known as the Mola Tecta, the research team that discovered it called it the Hoodwinker sunfish because the creature proved so difficult to locate. Did you know that this is the first species of sunfish to be identified in about 130 years? Goblin Shark. Now, this critter has become something of a fan favorite on epic wildlife, so we'd be remiss to admit it. Its best known feature, of course, is its mouth, one of the scariest in the entire animal kingdom. They can catch prey with their razor sharp teeth by popping the jaws straight out of the mouths. It is an unforgettable sight, to say the least and one that often draws some comparison to the xenomorph in the Alien movies. Dwelling in frigid waters around 4,000 feet deep, experts say they belong to a family that dates back around 125 million years. Pacific lampreys. This sea creature looks as if it was custom made for a horror movie. Lampreys are among the most primitive of extant vertebrates, remaining mostly unchanged over the course of some 380 million years. The lamprey uses its scary mouths to clamp onto larger fish and even sperm whales as a parasite to feed off the blood and other bodily fluids. 